So we've lived in a woodland for years now off grid and the end goal has always been to build an oak frame house, a, a big oak frame house was what we wanted, um, in the same style as the barn that holds our solar panels and our solar power gear. Recently we've let go of that dream and we just wanted to answer a few questions we've had as to why and what's caused us to move away from our original plans. Uh, <laughs> if you're wondering why I'm looking at my phone, it's not because we've got That's notes right. or anything like that. It's because Albie, our baby boy, is asleep and we've got the monitor on here and Fraser's told me not to show you because the house is too messy. So the dream was to um, build an oak framed building and basically when we built our barn we built it in such a way that it was going to kind of mirror the way our oak framed house was going to look so we used like blue cladding and things like this and you, you know you get set on a dream really and when you're set on things that can be quite dangerous because it doesn't always go that way and this only cost £8,000 to build this whole barn and uh, you know we, we kind of rubbed our hands together when we built it we thought that's alright that looks like building a house is quite doable it's quite feasible but now that the wood is probably three times as much and uh, I don't know what the roofing is going to cost but it's probably double so that's an awful lot more money. One of the reasons we've let go of the house dream is because a mortgage was never an option for us. I mean if you believe that banks and corporations rule the world then why on earth would you want a mortgage? <laughs> you know this is the thing you know it, everyone in, it, in, in all the countries um, uh, are in the same sort of feel like they're in the same sort of boat. Um, the generation or mortgage is around the corner for for us, and in some other countries, apparently, they're already doing that. We want to actually leave something and it not be debt. We don't want to be doom and gloom, but we know the difficult times are coming. We all know that, um, and um, we're just doing the best we can to prepare for that. These seem like the right options for us. It doesn't mean to say that people who are doing it differently are doing it wrong um, you can only do the best mm. thing for you mm. and that's what we think we're doing mm. I'm going to uh, build something that can be dismantled later on the main reason for that is that um, this area is is uh, likely well they're saying it's likely to flood 2030 2050 it's going to be underwater is what they're saying I mean I don't believe it but it's an awful lot of uh, inheritance to give away to the sea when it could go to our children. I'm not going to spend a lifetime creating something, you know, a legacy in oak <laughs> to see it underwater. So that's one reason. I don't believe it's going to happen, but I'm not prepared to take the risk. We're only four metres above sea level, and Scotland, where we are at, is about 84 metres above sea level. We've got building happening around us all over the place at the moment, in all the villages. They are growing rapidly um, on really what was floodplains. In our local village, you know, houses uh, 1,300,000 has gone for and, you know, that's an awful lot of money to commit to the sea. And it made us reconsider the fact that nothing is permanent yeah. and when it comes to houses, actually what's important is what goes on within them. Mm. and not what you leave behind once you've all gone from that place. Yeah. It was a real shift in mentality for yeah. us both because living in a mobile home for years you get kind of hungry for that perfect house, mm. that end goal and actually the end goal is being in a home with our children and, and being happy. So we're giving up the house but not the home is yeah. really what we're trying yeah. to say. You know and, and um, we uh, will build something here but it will be something that can be dismantled It'll be a bolt up job. It'll be something, um, you know, I'll make it myself. It'll be sections that can be unbolted and moved. You know, if it looks like it's in a flood, I'll unbolt it, I can sell it, or I can, you know, move it somewhere else and live in it. Um, you know, we'll, um, we'll head to the highlands and become refugees <laughs> on our own piece of land. And there's many ways to be off grid. And I think the way we're going to go now is we're going to get a bus and we're going to do it up and it will be an off-grid bus. It's going to be a mini version of our setup here really isn't it? Yeah. It's going to have a water filtration system, it's going to have a solar power system and we're really excited because the first time we did all of those things it was really nerve-wracking and mm. terrifying, particularly the solar. Mm. I mean you lost sleep over that for a long time. Yeah. Um, but the exciting thing about this time is it's all slightly smaller so mm. it's less scary and because we've done these systems before we sort of mm. sort of know what we're doing, enough for us to feel comfortable in mm. doing it. Um, not enough to say everyone should copy us, but enough to say that we're happy to do our own systems. And that's really great. We can have a bit of freedom 
um, and uh, hit the road a bit every now and then and um, still carry that off-grid mentality and those off-grid values with us. Mm. Kind of talked a little bit about timings and timings in terms of our family is a really big thing for us. Grace will be two next month and Albie is six months, um, which means the next 10 to 15 years are absolutely critical for our family. And what we do in those 10 to 15 years will shape those children's lives forever. So we have thought really hard about that and we don't feel that struggling over even half of that amount of time to save for and build a house is the right thing to do. We don't feel that them having an oak framed house to live in by the time they hit their teens will be enough of a repayment for the strain it would put on us financially um, physically for you um, and with time because they need time they need um, the best from us and we don't feel that that's necessarily going to be possible by taking on an enormous house project but what we can do is if we take on a bus project and we maybe build a small house um, that actually is something that we can weather as a family and that they can learn from and enjoy. It's a lot easier to build a van um, do a van build than it would be to build a whole house you know the whole house is bigger it's more expensive but also um, you haven't got a planner turning up or someone like that saying what you can and can't do you haven't got you know to follow an exact drawing it's a bit easier to change your mind but that can cost you your fortune so um, you know that makes it so much easier to, to do a, a, a top of van build. We have said if we were to start again from scratch van life would be the way that we would go even with two children and we're actually going to do a video soon on how we would start our off-grid life if we were to begin again so maybe consider subscribing if you'd like to see that. Because for years and years you think I want a big house, big oak frame house, this that and the other and um, and, and then you start to think well actually you know somewhere in amongst that you've actually got to live you know you've actually got to live a life and you could be chiseling out bits of wood you know for a lot of years and actually um, you know it, it could be just a waste you know that some <laughs> only takes some nutcase to push a, a button and <laughs> you're gone. Yeah well don't go there um, yeah why make houses when you can make memories? <laughs> We're not being that not so, so cheesy. I'm not being that nice. My bit was fairly cheesy. I, I know you went a bit cheese first. <laughs> Crackle with that. <laughs> if you want to see the new land that we're in the process of buying, then um, have a look at this video here. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> oh my god! I delayed. I delayed. <laughs> You'll be able to get away with that.